Hey guys, today I tell you about my style of photography, what I mostly shoot, and I learn how to properly edit a video introduction. Hey everyone, welcome to what is now my second YouTube video. So as of now, which is late summer 2015, I would consider my two specialties to be architecture slash interiors and headshots. But that's actually very different than where I originally started my business. About two or three years ago, I was pretty regular at CrossFit. Yeah, CrossFit! I, no, I was a uh, cross, CrossFitter? Uh, cross, CrossFit, CrossFiteer? Anyway, I had just purchased my new Canon Rebel T3i. Awesome introductory DSLR camera. So the owner, the main coach of the CrossFit gym I was going to, he had just redone his website. Website looked awesome, but the images that he had posted up there had uh, they're kind of subpar, left a lot to be desired. Most of them were taken with his iPhone, iPad, and they just didn't look all that great. So, anxious to get my portfolio and my business up and running, I approached him. I offered to shoot him at the gym, doing a lot of the uh, fairly common CrossFit exercises. I said I'd do it no charge. Uh, obviously, I get to add the images to my portfolio, and then he can uh, have copies of them, get to do whatever he wants with them. Put a, Obviously, put them on his website, marketing, flyers, promos, whatever. I don't think either of us knew how the images were going to turn out. Uh, I was just at the beginning of experimenting with off-camera flash. And if you're new to photography or if you consider yourself a natural photographer, uh, off-camera flash can seem like this realm of just wonder and mystery. And so I was just on the cusp of that, of diving into it. And my first shoot where I was going to try to integrate that was this potential shoot. I didn't know much how to shoot with off-camera flash. A lot of my settings were kind of guesswork when it came to uh, shutter speed, aperture, knowing what controlled the flash, what controlled the ambient light. Um, for lack of a better term, a lot of the settings were kind of a crapshoot. Very, very fortunately, the images turned out really, really good. I hate to say it, I was kind of surprised. As little as I knew about off-camera flash back then, I feel like kind of lucked out. And as you can see, one of the biggest reasons the photos turn out so well is the coach, the, the guy I was shooting, his, his name is Luke. He's built like a rock star, so there really wasn't any issues in having a great subject to shoot. We got a lot of great images out of that, and I got one image that I still consider to this day to be... Uh, I would say my one of my top five favorite images I've ever taken. And you're looking at it right now. Anyway, word got around and I started working a lot for other uh, gyms in Kansas City, uh, helping them out with new website images, promo, photos, things like that. And those jobs in myself ended up leading to other jobs as well. Uh, I got the occasional family shoot. I dabbled very, very little in headshot photography at that time. Just little odds and end type jobs here and there. Then on a completely different note, around November of 2013, uh, I had the opportunity to shoot my first uh, real estate listing for MLS. To be perfectly frank, I went into that uh, a little cocky, meaning I had shot quite a bit up at that time and I knew I was a fairly skilled photographer so I thought hey it's it's a house I'm shooting an inanimate uh, object or an inanimate subject how hard can it be holy shnikes was it difficult looking back my images on this real estate listing had much to be desired uh, the real estate agent was nice said that no they were all right and I was very self-critical. Uh, a lot of times the worst critic you'll ever have for your photos is yourself. So anyway, so I started to do some research and looking around, I started to notice that w there was a lot of subpar real estate photographers out there. Um, I didn't exactly know who they were. I was just looking at their work. I would look at high-end homes and in Kansas City, you know, if you look at homes anywhere from 500K plus, these are considered, you know, high-end homes. Some listings, million dollar plus, just had meh type photos. They were bad. Uh, they were shot with verticals all over the place. Sometimes they were unlevel. There's this trend in Kansas City of shooting real estate in overcooked HDR. It's just, it's gross. The images look acid trippy. It just looks nasty. It doesn't do any favors for the listing. So I took it upon myself to really start to study this area of photography and hone my own skills. And though it's taken a lot of time, taken a lot of videos, taken a lot of online classes, uh, I think the real estate images have been getting a little bit better and better uh, over the past few years. And one of my signature products are my twilight exterior images. Sometimes it's two or three hours worth of work that just goes into one 
single photo for these twilight images and sometime soon I'll create a video for you guys just to kind of give you a behind the scenes look and what all the what all goes into one of those the benefit of working with a lot of real estate agents is that they have to not only just market their listings but they also have to do a really good job of marketing themselves and that includes really good headshots so I may have an agent who might ask me about potentially shooting some of their listings after doing their headshot and vice versa so uh, over the past couple years my a uh, real estate portfolio has been growing simultaneously right along with my headshot portfolio. So if you get a chance, if you go to lowgearphoto.com and go to my headshot portfolio, uh, a majority of what you'll see are real estate agents here in Kansas City. But I also do work for insurance agents. Uh, I've done work for finance companies, technology companies, the list goes on. So to kind of digress to my style, if I was to summarize it, I would say, if you look at kind of a common theme among all my images, bright vivid colors uh, a lot of contrast uh, probably 95 percent of the time i'm pushing the shutter button a flash is going off i use flash a lot uh, sometimes i use flash to make it look very flashy other times i'll make it a little bit more subtle so sometimes it's hard to tell uh, i try to give every single image of mine kind of that commercial quality type look so whether it is a headshot uh, if i am shooting interiors form of architecture even senior photos weddings i always try to put kind of a commercial spin on it well guys that's a real short summary on uh, a little bit about me i promise uh, the videos from here on out are not going to just solely be me talking to the camera um, i'm only at the end of my second video and i'm already sick of it but i've got a lot of other good stuff lined up i've talked to three photographers so far uh, about contributing to the youtube channel got some really cool interviews set up some behind the scenes shoots already uh, just a lot of really good stuff coming down the line so as always guys click subscribe click like thanks for taking the time to watch and we'll uh, we'll see you around next time Thanks.